Uh, hello, today I'm going to show you how to perform uh, band structure calculations in Fleur and as a system I selected diamond um, because it's an easy system and diamonds are nice. Um, in diamond we have an FCC structure and we have two atoms, uh, one at the origin and one at one quarter, one quarter, one quarter. And um, we also have a lattice constant of about uh, 3.5 angstrom. And if you convert this to A0, you get uh, 6.74 uh, Bohr radii. And with this, we can start writing our input file for Fleur. So let me just start something diamond imp. And we just call a diamond. And then we define our lattice um, and we have to give it the uh, lattice symmetry which we will call CF for uh, FCC and A is equal to uh, 6.74 this is the the lattice constant of diamond in uh, ball radii um, and then we have two atoms uh, and then we give the uh, atomic number of the atom, which for carbon is uh, 6. And um, then we give the position of the atom. So the first atom was at the, at the origin, 0, 0.0 and 0, 0.0. And the second atom is also carbon, and it was uh, at 1 quarter, 1 quarter, 1 quarter. And um, this is basically it. With this input file, we can actually run the input generator which is located, in my case, it's located at Fleur, build impgen, and then we pipe the input file into it. And now we have a number of files. Um, most interestingly is the imp.xml file. So if we go in the imp.xml file, um, you can see um, the system we have set up, and interestingly, it actually has shifted the atoms. So we set the carbon atoms at the origin and at one quarter, one quarter, one quarter, but Fleur has decided to shift them so that the system has inversion symmetry and then it can uh, accelerate the calculation. Other things are, for example, the, um, P the exchange correlation function, which in this case is PBE, and this is fine for now. Um, the number of K points, I think we can increase a little. This is a, a bit low. Let's say let's just say 100 k points, and um, then we have the maximum number of iterations. This nine is usually a little low to convert it, so we'll just go to 50. Uh, we have the minimum distance, and um, this is fine. This should be enough, and I think with this we can um, run our Fleur calculation. Uh, so we just type Fleur build. MPI and this starts the convergence and since I compiled this with gfortran there is uh, no output in the console but you can actually get it by um, grabbing the out file because all the output that usually is in the console is written into the out file so we just grab for distance and this should give us the usual um, iterations, the d um, distances between the iterations. So what I did, I um, called tail f dot out. This just continuously outputs the out file and then I piped it into a grab for distance. And now you can see that the system is uh, slowly converging. Yes, and after 12 iterations, it's less than 10 to the minus uh, 5, which is exactly what you wanted. And now we can have a look in the out.xml. So here you can see similar things to the uh, imp.xml, but you can also see um, some output parameters. For example, if you search for band gap, um, you actually get several band gap values. And the one we're interested in is the one that is... Um, and the one that we calculate with the converged distance. So each um, 
charge density that is generated for each uh, iteration has a band gap, but we are interested in the very last, so we just go to the bottom and then we do a backward search and here you get a value of uh, 4.28 and if you compare this uh, to literature values um, you see that it has um, that diamond has a gap of about 5.47 so um, Fleur underestimates the band gap and this is very common uh, for PBE calculations PBE generally underestimates the band gap um, but we wanted actually to do a um, band structure calculation and um, to do this uh, we first have to converge and uh, the density which is what we did just now so now we have converged density and with this uh, we can actually do one little change in the input file so we search for band equals and then we turn the band um, calculation on, on. So we set uh, band equals true and um, then we can call, call Fleur once again. And this run is much quicker. And now we can look at the output of Fleur and uh, there are two in interesting ones, namely this band.gnu and bands.1 which is where the information about the band structure is uh, stored. So what we do is we call GNU plot and we pipe this band.gnu into it. And this gives us uh, some kind of weird output, which is actually a PS file. So what we do is we repeat the command and then we pipe the output into a band.ps file. And since nobody wants to work with uh, PS files, we simply type PDS to PDF band yes and now we should be able to call our PDF viewer on that new file and here you can actually see the uh, crystal structure so you can see uh, that the band gap is actually around 4.2 which is what we saw earlier um, but it, it seems quite coarse so um, that depends on how accurate you want your calculation. So we'll just increase the number of K points. And um, if you go into your imp.xml, you will actually see that there are two sets of K points. And there's uh, this alternative K point set, which has the purpose bands. And we'll just go crazy and uh, do a thousand points, more than a thousand. And um, now we repeat our flow run. And now we can pipe our uh, band.gnu file uh, again in, uh, in GNU plot, and we can convert it again. We can convert it again, and we have a look in our viewer. And now it's a much more continuous line, but it turns out that there are some uh, weird kinks in the band structure. And this is usually a sign that you haven't converged your numerical parameters properly. So what we will do is we we'll go back to the input file and we will increase kmax. So this, um, these kings usually originate because of a kmax that is too low. So instead of 4.2, we will set it to uh, 4.8. And additionally, we will also turn off the band because we have to converge it once again. So we will repeat our convergence, or uh, actually we will continue our convergence. So we start with the old last density. Okay, uh, we have finished our convergence, and now we can um, start the band structure calculation once again. So we set bands equal true, and um, we call flow once more. And now we repeat our GNU plot in our PS to PDF step. And we have a look at our uh, result. Uh, so as you can see, uh, the kinks are gone, and um, but the band gap still is underestimated. 
And um, this is how you do a band structure calculation uh, in FLIR. If you want to um, publish this result in a paper, you might want to create your own visualization, but um, this GNU plot visualiz visualization is a quick and easy way to uh, get the band structure you calculated. Uh, if you have any questions, you can post them in the comments or you can contact us at our um, GitLab website. And with this, I'd like to thank you and goodbye.